I just made phone calls and my brethren came. How many of you phoned somebody to come? Bishop, I'm sorry to say, I want my children not to marry Robo people. I mean, I regret being an Robo man. If I were to be a Yoruba preacher, I would be all over the place. I preach better than most of those you celebrate. But because I'm an Urobo man, or Jeff Young, I'm telling you, I'm telling you the truth. I regret being an Urobo man. Every good thing that has happened to me since I became an adult and went to the East is through the Igbo people. That's why my children answer Igbo names. I'm a white Jurobo. What has the robo man done for my life? <laughs> I'm a white Jurobo. Jurobo with uh, Don't look at me like that. You can't do me anything. <laughs> but if you're a good boy, you can come home. I have only one daughter. If you're a good boy, I will consider you. And... <laughs> Father, we thank you. Teach us, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. I don't know if Mr. Akpoguma is in this hall. I invited him. Is Mr. Akpoguma here? Praise the Lord. Akpoguma, please come, 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 come. Come now. Bishop, don't mind me, oh. Akpoguma is my... Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Awesome, I born in Mowun. Only no form I did here. And I was born in the former. So this is the man they died and left me for. He's <laughs> a very good man. That car I'm driving there, he sold to me. I didn't pay. He told me to drive home. That my wife can pay later. Recently, he encouraged me to go and buy half an acre to a former. He's a very good man. He's a Catholic. I just called him. He's here. It's Madame here. Right. Mrs. Akoguma. Praise the Lord. Let me meet you today. I am here. God bless you, man. Praise the Lord. God bless you, sir. You can sit down, sir. Thank you, Thank you sir. Praise the Lord. Bishop, sir, can I preach truth here or I should preach church? Okay, I'll now share truth in a corner man moment. Oh, goony gwig. For the three days I'm going to speak to you here, I'll be speaking from one passage. And that's the second Kings chapter 4. From verse 1. It states that the wife of a man from the company of the prophets cried out to Elisha, Your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that he revered the Lord. But now his creditor is coming to take my two boys. As he sleeps, Elisha replied to her, How can I help you? Tell me what do you have in the house? Your servant has nothing there at all, she said, except a little oil. In the Amplified Bible I shared with you in the morning, it states that what do you have of sale value? What do you have that can be sold? Let me concentrate on that for a while that we did in the morning. Number one, please write six D's down. D, D, six letters of D. Bishop, sir, was that woman the only woman owing that day in that country, in that town? People. Was that woman the only woman owing? Huh? 
Was that woman the only woman that saw Elisha? You can never be rich until you have a strong desire. If an Igbo boy starts business with an Urobo boy in the same place with the same capital, with the same customers, the Igbo boy will get richer than the Urobo boy most probably because he has a stronger desire. Asaba and Onicha are on the same river. But Onicha was destroyed during the war. And Asaba most probably was not destroyed. But today, people from Onicha are coming to buy land in Asaba. They found out that people who come from outside America get richer faster than the indigenous Americans. Because the man who crossed the seas to go into America has a stronger motivation. And I was discussing with the bishop that I have a formula. Motivation is inversely proportional to the distance from the capital, either political capital or commercial capital. The boy in Lagos is more motivated than the boy in Ibadan, most probably. The boy in Ibadan is more motivated than the boy in Ore. By the time you get to Benin, as a headquarter, the motivation is a little bit high. But by the time you get to Wari and you are branching Ugeli, the motivation has decreased. People, I made up my mind when I was young, I was going to be a rich man. I made up my mind, that's why I studied medicine. I made up my mind when I was young that I will not stay in the same mud house because I left a mud house to the university. When I was going, I cursed the mud house. I said none of my descendants will ever live in a mud house unless it goes for safari in Kenya. There is a fundamental problem in this town. I was telling them in the conference that I organized that the average man dies with the same color he used to paint his building in this town. Check most of those who have died in this town. It's the same color. If the building was unpainted, he will die in that building unpainted. It is the color that our fathers used to build, paint their buildings that we still collect house rent with. You need a strong desire to be wealthy. I mean it. When you see here, when we see people who walk to get rich, we condemn them. He looks for money too much. And the same person who condemns you that you look for money is the same person that will come and borrow from you. My other brother used to tell me that we walk too hard. He died and left children for me and I'm the one training them. I was as lazy as himself. When you don't have a desire, opportunities will be present. You will miss them. The reason, let me tell you, I, I went to preach in a, a Balende Assemblies of God Church. And a young Igbo boy that was carrying my load came with a Lexus Jeep. He's not yet married. Pastor, are you here? Look at me. I'm well dressed. Have you seen me with coat before? Hardly. Now today I wear coat. Don't be looking at that. Be looking at me. <laughs> you they owe me money. No, Why are you looking that side? You play me while you before. Look at my eye. Don't mind me. Oh. I defined trouble from small picking comp. <laughs> this evil boy, we carry my Ghana must go of books and put on his head and climb three-story building hotel with a Lexus Jeep. Then I called him one day. Okoli, what is the secret of your wealth? Are you married? He said, no. He said, I was called an illegitimate son because my father died before I was born. And they said that the pregnancy was not of his. And then the community made mockery of me. Then I made up my mind that that same community 
that made mockery of me will celebrate me. Let me speak robo. That's why most in this town, apart from this Henry or Lori that I know, I don't know of others, most children that they died and left property for, they sold them. Because the children in Roboland and in this town in particular, they celebrate their father's little money to the detriment of their future. We specialize in selling buildings. Don't look that side. Look me. I'm not talking. They don't even do me anything. My grandfather was a king in Uruguay in a rotto area. I don't fear any person. I'm a prince of this land. You must have a strong desire. I asked him, "How did you make money?" He said, "My master settled about four of us. He said I discovered in Obalende." that people walk till daybreak and I decided to sell till daybreak that I was selling till 4 a.m. then I will sleep and by 7 I will wake up and sell again he said the money I sold at night was usually more than what I sold during the day as he was carrying me to the airport he showed me one building near CPM he said I have a story building here I have two acres in Lekki. I have two acres in Aja. He said, when my community needed electricity, they were looking for money to buy transformers and electric poles. And they went and met my mother to come and tell me to buy transformers for them. And I told my mother that I have been waiting for this occasion that the illegitimate child will give light to the village. Stand up and look at somebody properly. Tell the person, don't look at me like that. Tell the person, if you insult me today, tomorrow I will get an insight. How long your father died as a tenant in this town? You are still a tenant. Please sit down. Tejiri, don't look at me like that. Your father married, died as a tenant. You married again, tenant. 21 years tenant. Doesn't bother you. Stupid prayer. Any person troubling me. Who? Unless it's a stupid witch that will go and trouble somebody living in a room and parlor. If I'm a witch, I will look for a very rich man to kill, not woman. <laughs> Me, witch. If I be witch, I don't see person's trouble. If witchcraft now multi level marketing, now I go take grow. If I the trouble only poor people. No, they go select one rich man, kill him. Stay one room, say, I'll be me a witch, worry you. By these stupid witches that are warning you. <laughs> I went to one redeemed Christian church of God to pray, to preach. One woman got up. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We have been tenants for 21 years in one compound. And then I got angry and prayed. God, let us pack to another compound. And we packed. I said, shut up! <laughs> Am I speaking to somebody? Yeah. Is Ben Alaka here? Is he here? When I knew I had overgrown their compound, I went and met the mother. Mama, I'm going to park by the end of March. He said, Doctor, are you the one giving us quick notice? I said, sometimes tenant can give quick notice. Immediately I set that deadline. Money started coming. Many of you have tolerated poverty for too long. Mm. I hate, as you see me here, I have hot temper. Don't play rough play near me. The Holy Ghost has not taken it away. It's a protective shield. 
You mess up near me, I'll show you fire. That's why when they introduce all of you, they call your churches. No, let me not get church. Because my members will run. <laughs> Pastor, I hate to be tolerated. I like being celebrated. Because even if you don't have money, and your younger brother in your family has more money than you, if you are not in the family meeting, the family meeting will continue without you. Even in the church committee, apart from heroes of faith, if you don't have money, your ideas are not taken into consideration. to live did you come to this world to look at people the women driving cars are they more beautiful than you this road they are dualizing is it for you to die on top of Okada somebody stand up and shout no number two D set a deadline by this time where is the young doctor today that I saw today is he here the young doctor is it you stand up sir set a deadline by this time I will be a professor not a stupid Nigerian professor I will be a professor in an aspect of medicine that the whole world will be looking for me if you don't set a deadline you can't have speed The year I told God that I needed at least a million naira in my account. By November, the million was not there. I said, God, December is near. Between November 15th and end of December, 1.1 million entered. Because you are a product of your thoughts. You are a product of your desires. They're not the help person for this church. You will remain poor. If you are always looking for somebody to help you, instead of you desiring to help somebody. Deadline. The next thing is delineate. I will never be lower than this in my life. How many of you have preached here severally? How many of you have I come to your house to pray? When I discovered that the bank manager of Oceanic was your member and I had preached here, I only met, I only went there once. Only went there once. I told myself I will be like Abraham that was richer than his members. I want to be a rich pastor. I told myself that when my classmates come from America that are professors, at the age when I went to medical school, I told them I was not going to be a professor. And I was not going to fail. I want that when you go to become professors and you come back from America, I will be richer than you. Draw a line. Tell yourself by so 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 time I will build my house. I quarreled with bungalows. I have quarreled with bungalow. Bishop, I have quarreled with bungalow. I no longer build bungalows. I was passing on a quick bear where my father-in-law, my grand, my father, my grandfather-in-law, built a story building. He wasn't born again. He wasn't a doctor. He did not live in Aba. Oh no, Jigofia could build a story building. I was more than five inches blocks. I told myself, I said, bungalow, I won't build you. And my wife was praying one kind of prayer. She said, when we finish building, we buy a car. When we finish building, we buy a car. I said, amen. After some time, I said, I cancel that amen. <laughs> People are building houses and they are traveling abroad and they are buying cars. 
at the same time. The same day I was decking my first story building, I bought a car while the decking was on because I canceled that former prayer. Some of your prayers are annoying God. I'm telling you, every Wednesday you see women around this and shaking breast and buttocks. <laughs> what are you praying? Some of them sell tobacco and sell cigar and go and shake breasts. Draw a line. Draw a line. I will never end less than this at so so, so age. The desires of the righteous shall be granted. Pastor, you see, this is your pastors. If you want them to work well, don't praise them for mediocrity. Tell them this church I have set for you by so 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 time, I want so 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 members. It will wake him up. A life without target will become will be targeted. A field without crops, grass will grow. Set targets for yourself. The next thing in business, if you are to do well, dare. 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 Dare to go and register as a shell contractor. Eh? Eh? Dare. D A R O E. Somebody came to meet me. He said, A school in this town that it is terrazzo because he saw the floor of my school peeling. In my mind, I still terrazzo. I will tile my own. When I put tiles, I went to call him. I said, Come and see. Come and see. Use terrazzo to do yanga for me. Come and see. Bishop. We pastors, our schools should be the most beautiful in this town. We should, we should, we should tell, dare to tell God. I want to build university. If it be not your way, no go school. Build your university. Why me not go build university? I don't fear, don't ever fear anything that concerns money. Until you attempt it, money doesn't come. This year, I want you to go and price land after this meeting. Go and price land. I want you to go and dare to mold block. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yeah? Yeah. The money, some of you go to, they burn you for a golf parade to the carry gun nature every day. The women, when they go to Dubai, their brain pass your own. When I'm coming from abroad, I see the girls going to Dubai. Very blouse, stupid people. Robot women, not talk to him and then Your limit is on Nietzsche. That won't when something million you are taking to on Nietzsche can take you to Dubai. The visa is easy. Those of you selling electronics here, Bojo. So we made contact with Singapore to bring electronics to this town. They are waiting for me to come. Eh? We made contact with Chinese people for us to be their distributor of motorcycles in this town. <laughs> Dead! This year, where you have the kind of business you have not attempted before. I just I just saw the thing in one of the magazines I got in an aircraft. We were in a tumbo. I found them. Brr, brr. Hello, who are you? I said, Dr. Pokey. What do you want? I want to be a distributor for your motorcycles. I am in Nigeria. Can you send us your details? 
I ran to his room. Odi we were ram right. Odi we were rock. But we could feel no way full time ministry. Me we contact the thing up. Some of you are timid. You think you are gentle. You sit in your shed, come on to call customer, you can't open your mouth. Why the Igbo boy? Okay, I get him. He doesn't have it. I get him. Come. I will keep you here, run and go and collect it and bring and make profit. The robot boy will sit down. In no day. When did I wake you up to go to Port Harcourt? Five. Five. I woke up by 2 a.m. Stayed awake. By 5, I called him. Boy, we are leaving for Port Harcourt. 5 a.m. Is he getting on your man, Gavron Ryan? They say, where well, we drive? If thief sees me, will fear me. If I know they are around, I put one leg from the window like this. sleeping at night enter this road by 2 a.m. this will really you will see the vehicles moving throughout the night some of you will wake up at night st start praying 12 o'clock you're praying midnight prayer and your mate is looking for midnight money If you are afraid, you can never be rich. If you fear, you can never be rich. Never. Never be rich. All the countries I've been to, I never knew the people I was going to meet. I just saw them in the internet. I wrote email to them. It's actually come. I entered plane. Got to the airport. I didn't know them. The church, we fear demon, demon. Come on, come on, stupid demon. There's a pastor near me when he's praying. I was, I'll be wondering how, yeah, yeah, demon. Bishop is an insult for a pastor to pull coat for demon. How many days now? Only three waiting. Now they write all of them. So, ah, uh -uh. now they draw me go back. <laughs> Number five D: delayed gratification. Delayed gratification. Bishop, have you heard of Warren Buffett? You know, you know he lives in the same house for the past 40 years. Carlos Slim has been living in the same house. Warren Buffett has a private jet manufacturing company. He doesn't own a private jet. How can you park three cars in front of another man's compound and you are a tenant? You are an idiot of the highest order. Three cars in another man's compound. Chief Morrison Olori was telling me a story. He said that one man said that uh, the reason he likes to be a landlord is that all these lawyers and doctors living in his compound, they will just park their cars. That the man will just go there. Oh no, he moto tine. But only any landlord do car. The doctors will be running. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. sir. He said, that is more than the house rent. To be intimidating. Kabare, when I was driving school bus, I had enough money to buy the biggest jeep. When I I had already built, built house, one, one man told me in this town that I don't dress well. 
and I was to preach in his consecration. I went there and prepared a poisonous message. I parked my car in such a way that I can run away. When I released the dangerous message, boom! I entered my car. They said, Dr. Apoki, where are you? I saw me in my own hotel. And do we bring food? I said, no. Interpreter, you have stopped interpreting. Interpret. <laughs> You know, as a businessman, you must be observant. <laughs> Doctor, do we bring money for you? I said, no. I mean, I'm, meet me in Nugeli. He came to my house. You know where I was living now? One small television. How can you buy plasma TV of 150,000 your tenant? How can you carry a handset of 75,000? And you are a student and a tenant. Am I speaking to somebody? You know, Pentecostalism makes us go crazy. Check the Yoruba rich men. They wear Accra. I went to Okon's church to preach. I told them one single is 20,000. 20,000 will give you 10 bags of cement. 10 bags of cement will give you 400 blocks. 10 singles will give you 100 bags. 100 bags of cement will give you 4,000 blocks. 4,000 blocks will give you a three-bedroom bungalow. How many of you have seen my wife with single? That pastor told me, he said I should tell my wife to go to his, his own wife's shop to buy clothes on credit to wear. Some of you buy wrapper. Every week, every month, you are a tenant. Single, 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 single. To match. And you don't, your husband has no building. My I went to the shop. My wife can buy the land. Buy all the goods there. Put his wife on 40,000 naira salary a month. It will shake her. Then he came to my house, saw this small color television and one useless rug. He said there. He was looking at me one time. I said, come. Come and go and pray for something for me. He said, who owns this house? I said, it's my own. That one is my own. That other land, I said, it's my own. I said, there are others. I have large land in Okwokoko. I also have in Agbara Road where they are dredging sand there. I have others you have not seen. Say, doctor, I'm a tenant too. I don't know if you can give me flat. Me that does not dress well, you want me to become your landlord. Bishop, flamboyance without financial debt is stupidity. A young boy that will imitate you because you are driving Jeep, to go and buy Jeep. It's an imbecile. This Jeep you are seeing, my wife bought for me, is profit. I have used it to work money. I use it to carry school children. Some of you have seen me. I use it to carry school children. I use it to carry feed for my fish. I use it to carry books. I use it to carry paper. Why then buy monkey? Who do I want to post for? Who know my father? Some of you from poor homes. The greatest problem you have is that you want to impress people and you don't have anything. They did an experiment in the University of South Carolina. They gave biscuits to children and they said at the age of four, they said that if you eat your biscuits, we will not give you another one. But if you keep it, we will give you two. Then, Go and look for this book, Walking with Emotional Intelligence. That's where that story is. Walking with Emotional Intelligence. I think it's written by Coleman. Look for that book and buy it. Those children that ate their biscuits, they didn't give them anything. 
The ones that did not eat their biscuits, they gave them two. They followed them for 14 years. They discovered that those that did not eat their biscuits were more settled academically than those who ate their biscuits. They followed them until they went to university and they graduated. They found out that those who did not eat their biscuits were richer than those who ate their biscuits. Wealth, money is a spring. Income is a spring, sorry. Income is a spring. Wealth is a lake. It is not how much that comes to your hand that makes you rich. It is how much you are able to retain. Some of you, when money enters your hand, it's like when you have recharge card in your phone. When you have recharge card in your phone. I, hello, I just want to highlight you. Does it happen to you people? It happens to me. When I have 2,000 in my phone. Hey, Hannah, I just want to highlight you. How are you? How are you? I'll just phone, 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 phone. Let me even talk of phone. I've shared it here before. If you phone 2,000 naira every week, I mean 4,000 naira every week for one year, you have phoned 52 bags of cement. I mean 104 bags of cement. 4,040 bags blocks you have phoned away. Somebody was phoning with Mushesh's phone. He was talking and talking. Mushesh told him, drop that phone. He said, when, it, when the talk becomes too long, the phone becomes a liability. I live a good life. Bro. I travel with one of my drivers. Where I stay, the hotels I stay, some of them, they pay 20,000 naira a night. The food I eat, Sometimes I eat for three days is some, somebody's monthly salary. But I, I have common sense. I know how to manage my money. I don't live on my raw capital. I live on profit. I eat my profit. For every plantain that wants to fall down, another three are already growing. Apart from the one you give to God, your tithe your offering, your seeds, and all that, learn to manage your money well. Greece is broke. America, by April, if the American debt reaches 1.3 trillion, then they will need Senate approval to spend again. On the head of average American, in fact, their credit cards, the average American is owing about $8,000 credit card. Because the American economy is a consumer economy. Germany and France are bailing Ireland. I was just listening to the British um, president, British prime minister. They are tightening their budgets because they have overspent. Greece overspent. Norway over, I mean, uh, Portugal overspent. Spain overspent. America has overspent. But the Chinese economy and the Indian economy and the German economy, they are saving economies. You can live a luxurious life if you learn to save in the beginning. I used to drive myself here now, before. I came with two drivers today. I can afford it. Comfortably. It won't shake me. When I was driving school bus, I went to preach in Odioko's church. <laughs> After preaching, he wanted to see me off. I said, Bishop, leave me now. <laughs> he told you what? <laughs> I, I said you didn't want him to see the vehicle you came with. I came with, I came with school bus. <laughs> so, Bishop Odioko said, Doctor, let me see you off. I said, Bishop, don't worry, you're very busy. But we yeah. He still followed me. I said, send one, one of your ushers to follow me. He still followed me. I said, this is Bishop, sir. You won't keep that, see? <laughs> so he, just, he just followed me, followed me. He saw me with one Ford, one Ford bus. He said, what a pretense. When I go to Ciro's Hotel to park my car, they will wash all the other cars. They won't wash my bus. I 
Am I speaking to somebody? Yes. Learn to think of tomorrow. Not now. I've, I don't know if I've taught you this. If you sell cement, the profit on a bag of cement is no more than 15 naira after transportation. If you sit down, Madriga, Yario! Martina, Yario! Edibu, Yario! Obohona Ruena, Ofona di Martina, Obari, you may have a book, you're a fool. Because if you eat, 200 naira. This this my drivers, they used to abuse me now. They said too tight hand. I know what they say concerning me, I know. If you eat 200 naira in the morning, 200 naira in the afternoon, 200 naira in the evening, you have eaten 600 naira, that's the profit of 12 bags of cement. You do that for 50 days. You have eaten 600 bags, that's a trailer load. How much is the profit on two by two? Are you Mrs. Um, eh, Ajweshi? How much is the profit on three eight rod? Of am I speaking to somebody? If you sit down and eat your two by two, you notice the rich people they carry food flask to the office. Am I right? When I went to preach to for the Hebrew Hebrew people in Hebrew Center, they said we are going to eat in Hebrew Center. That Federal Palace Hotel are going to, I thought, for where? They are very disciplined. They arrange ice fish and banga soup. The person walk. When I go to the houses of the rich, they count sugar. Have you noticed it? They put the stew separate from the rice. The one you did not use, they will take it again and put it in the fridge. Am I right? Now, poor man picking, then they use can be a wash hand. Go to any burial. You will see a poor man's child using beer to wash hand. Martina to wash hand. You see? Have you seen Hebrew spraying money? Delayed gratification. The last D. Deliberate repeated reinvestment. Deliberate repeated <laughs> reinvestment. Mama, should I repeat it? Deliberate repeated reinvestment. Mama, let me give you an example. Assuming you made a vow now, I'm just using it as an example, and you had a hundred thousand. And there is a business that you do every week that brings 50, 50,000. If you did the business with the 100,000 and it brought 50,000, you added it to the 150, it brought 75,000, and you came and gave 50,000, your 100,000 is still there plus an extra 25,000 because you have reinvested and brought the profit. God told us to sow seeds, not to uproot the tree. Kabari, don't use your 1.5 million to go and buy a car. Reinvest that 1.5 million four times, make a profit of 1.5 million, then buy a car on profit. Do you understand me? Eh? I will share some of these things later. I was going with my wife. You know, when I carry my wife to the market, I will stay by the side. You know, I will be observing people. Sometimes I wear nika. I will just stay like this. Two women were passing. One was saying, He said, I got to run. That was why that prophet died poor. He had no savings. He had no investment. 
Now, there are some things I wrote here that will make you make you rich. Okay, let me say this. Avoid the following Fs. Females. A man that likes women can never get rich. Even if he gets rich by the time he dies, the children will sell all the properties. That's why polygamous homes, after the man dies, many of the children become poor. A person that likes food, if you like flashy cars, and you don't have a good investment, if you like fame, people to hail you, if you like fantasy, now, let me go back to, to some of the things I wanted to share with you. How many of you know, Bishop, there is a man in Ofoma. From this whole church is his fish pond. More than that, this whole church is a medical doctor. This whole church, more than, is his fish pond. He exports catfish to China from Ofoma. He exports catfish. If you are entering Ofoma, there is Yoma. Is it only bakery? Is it only water? That is a self sustaining colony. And, Pastor. Our missionaries should not just be sent to Bayelsa, sent to Terry, sent to wherever any village church. Our village churches can be income spinning churches. If we teach our pastors to run poultries, they can be producing eggs for the headquarter church to sell. Because land is cheap in the communities you are opening the churches. Anglican church here has a diocesan fish pond. This one in Ugeli here. You have a diocesan fish pond. How many of you pastors, how many of you have heard from God more than Abraham? You say you have a full time. How many times God don't come eat for your house? Abraham had 318 servants. They were not casting out demons. They were working for him. We can turn our rural branches to economic centers. Buy large acres for a cassava farm. Pay laborers to plant. Am I speaking to somebody here? The pastor in the village would like to be transferred again. That Yoma complex, you can, you can, food, bread, I drink his, I, I've drunk his water, water, bread, fish, poultry, I don't know how many things are there, and he's an engineer. What you read nowadays might not be what feeds you. Am I speaking to somebody here? Now, Invest in communication. A young boy, Assemblies of God. But have you met him? I went to preach in his church. Like this. He told me, sir, I'm looking for work. I said, don't look for work. Start a company. He said, what can I do? I said, you can make phone calls. I prayed for him. I started making phone calls in front of his brother's house. He was squatting. From there, he started making 40,000 naira every month. From there, I prayed for his shop. From there, I prayed for his two-bedroom flat. From there, I preached in his wedding. From there, I told him he bought land now in DSC. Today, that boy sells at least one million naira recharge card every day. Worry. You know him now. Every day. He comes to sell books for me when I'm preaching. Every day, one million recharge card. Please sit down, sir. 
every day. Because MTN makes more money in Nigeria than in South Africa. They are talking of privatization and commercialization. Why have they not told us to buy shares in MTN and Airtel? Why are they dashing out cars so that they don't pay tax to us? There's so much money. And I'm telling my, my third son, I said, go and read a master's and a PhD in Bradford in personal, mobile, and satellite communication. Because in this generation, communication. Mark Zuckerberg, at the age of 26, is a billionaire from Facebook. Your own, when you browse, is pornography. You go and browse. Mumu. Communication. Any child now. If it, I discourage. Uh, my eldest son is reading medicine abroad. I discourage him from reading medicine. I say, don't read it. Don't read it. Be waiting for sick people. When you want to eat, that's when one man will go and fall from Okada. Come and disturb you. The in thing communication. Oil will soon expire. Reverend, I know a school in India where they teach illiterate grandmothers how to manufacture solar panels. Because solar energy is going to be the next form of energy generation. So any of you here, apart from your petrol station, apart from whatever you are building, look for an avenue to go into renewable energy business because of global warming. Let me quickly say this, then I will continue. Do you know that one of the best antiseptics to dress a wound is honey? Honey. Doctor, doctor, do you know honey heals wound very fast? Do you know they are now using maggots to dress very bad wounds? They sterilize the maggots, they sterilize flies, they will lay eggs, hatch maggots, and put the maggots on the wound and plaster it, bandage it. After three days, they remove the, the maggots. Clean! They are even using sucking blood, leech, to drain blood from tissues. Now, there is a plant I shared with you people when you came called Moringa Olifera. Can we say it together? Moringa Olifera. Ono had it in his compound. He didn't know the value. 100 seeds is $25. The federal government recently held an international conference on Moringa Olifera. Some of you saw it in the newspapers. Even the leaves are used to purify water. Assuming we start planting Moringa now. Acres of Moringa Olifera. When the man that is the major exporter of Moringa Olifera in this country is an assembly of God Dickin. His name is James Wuye. I was arranging to bring him to this town through I, I'm through um, Pius, my uncle, Pius, oh no, Ranger, my uncle. Uh, it, Papa Ayo was bringing him, so I wanted to also bring him here. I don't know, he was unable to come. During the Kaduna riot, they cut off his hand. He has one plastic hand, but he's a millionaire in dollars. <laughs> Not let your friends deceive you, that's true. Don't let all these other bishops deceive you. When they preach finish, eh? one of your daughters sells it here. There's something called splinter. After preaching, they pour it inside water and drink it. it when I introduced it to Onofure, he was doing poko poko. I got to his office. His wife has become a distributor. He said when he went to check his blood, it was like a young man's blood. They gave the thing to me in Lagos. Mumu. Dr. Boku Mumu. I left it. The woman who brought it to worry, 
The last time they paid her, they paid her 27 million. Where's the sister that sells it in this church? Where are you? Where are you? Meet her after. This one is not uh, it's not why you. The fish pond is the ones I sold. I used to build it. I deliberately brought it from Uyo to this town because of you who are unemployed pastor's wives. If you buy goods of uh, 16,000 naira, Boja, you they sell to now. Why you they pretend to say no limit? I like money. Sure, you they sell to. I will go on Wednesday. You will go on Wednesday. Did I say no limit like money? Goods of how much? 16,000. 16, how much be your profit? You can get like uh, 10, 12,000. Oh, yeah. Dangote wanted to buy all. All this, your big belly. No, it's from Malaysia. The ginseng is what North Korea uses to pay for their, their, their debts. When I don't hear of them before, when I pursue which. <laughs> you people won't, you, you won't concentrate. Pastor, you don't try your, frankly speaking, these are our members in Ugeli. It's as if we are dragging them. As you are dragging them, they are dragging you backward. Dragging them. Look at the ones I started church with. Nearly all of them are still where they are. It does not know drive them, come out. Bishop, I run leave them. <laughs> not follow me, oh. <laughs> My head is hot, you not follow me. <laughs> if a pastor, you could not follow me, oh. You could not follow me, oh. Any that preach bad message, they need to give better offering. <laughs> One of our cars, we went and welded the key. We did not know that the key was computerized. That the car did not have accelerator, it did not have throttle cable. It is coded. And do you know to decode it is 35,000? Ugeli here, we used to phone people from Wari, phone people from Lagos. And the cars are in this town. If any of you here can bring the computer, so you just connect it to the car, it will read what is wrong with the car. Somebody, a Yoruba man, is already bringing it. We they here. They here. One person can't reach. One person coming with doctor. This is your own. Don't pass uh, evil wisdom. Now blood money. I think now blood money. Now blood of Jesus. If hunchback. When they kill, if you bring money, Jesus went straight. When a Christian say, I can talk, yeah, yeah, talk. Person where don't die with his sin, say they bring money. If you give person money, what of Jesus Christ? Now, blood money, are they do blood money, blood of Jesus. Because the day the children of Israel passed under the blood, the Egyptians gave them gold. The blood brings money. That be the one that is I sprinkle the blood on the moon, sprinkle it on the gutter. What is now paint? <laughs> Bishop, don't mind me. I don't go Bible school. <laughs> now, education. Somebody say education. Bishop, sir. The Church of God Mission School I ran in Abba became richer than the church. school director you can run this school and it will be richer than this church i'm telling you there's nothing as profitable as school how can you teach for how many years you have not opened your own school i quarrel with you today i quarrel with you where's your wife
Video man, video record me. Why are you putting the video there? Oh, come on, video record me. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> How can you? Where are Joeshi? Joeshi? You, Timo, teach. You, you teach. School. No fee open. Common lesson. I know they write. Before you retire, start one. I started with five students, including my son. How can you teach, teach, teach for 20 something years? When you retire, you can be a principal for somebody's school that you were you taught in secondary school. God forbid nonsense. Am I speaking to somebody? Bishop? You're talking. We will sit down and talk about school. Yeah. I won't say it in public so all of them won't hear. <laughs> Education pays. The bookshop alone pays. And you don't need to buy the books with your money. The companies will supply the books to you. After. Don't come empty handed, Bishop. Mary, you go on here now. Mary, you What's my man? If so, eh? <laughs> find a secondary school, open a bookshop near it. Use it to face it. Auto Wodo Grammar School there. No bookshop in front of it. The children go to town to buy. You know how many erasers children buy in a day? Whether they eat the erasers, I don't know. Eraser. You know how many they buy? Pencil. When you sell ruler to them, they will use the ruler like this. It has spoiled. Uncle Ruler. Any of you here that is wise, go and mount a bookshop in front of Otto Odo Grammar School. I don't know if there's a bookshop in Orogu. Orogu Grammar School is there. Am I speaking to somebody here? You know, we just go around mu, mu, mu. education. Bishop, you know, you know, I discovered that knowledge is going to be scarce in the end of times. And people will be running around for knowledge. So, if you can't run seminars, doctor, Prepare. You know how much they pay me for teaching stress management. Stress management. Nepa, Nepa phoned me one day. Somebody phoned me. Is that Dr. Poki? I say yes. He said, I'm calling on behalf of Nepa. I want to hold a conference on stress management for the, manage the managers from Ekiti, Ondo, Delta, and Edo State. I say, yes, I'm available. Say, how much do you charge? My wife said, I said, Shh. <laughs> And I quoted for them per hour. Put me in the hotel. I was just speaking. I was making them laugh too. Their blood pressure was coming down. <laughs> when they finished, they paid me. All the electric bill I paid since I was born. <laughs> They called me. They called me again, doctor. Doctor, we want to organize another seminar. Have you increased your price? I say yes. Have you not increased your tariff? <laughs> never bill, never go up. You don't go up. So why would my brain not go up? <laughs> doctor, as you are working in that teaching hospital, Urobo children go to school. Stop impregnating girls here. Get a PhD. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, but you're, you're doing masters, not so. Kings are doing masters, which you not so. A time will reach. There are some places anointing alone is not enough. Knowledge. Instead of spending, Bishop, I will soon close up. 
instead of spending your time watching Arsenal and Manchester United. You'll be fool, 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 fool. Uh, We beat Tuna yesterday. Man, you said they know they feel beat there. We not beat them now. We don't beat Tuna. You know, Manchester United was defeated for the first time. It is another know them. Not just the mumu. Uh, Fernando Torres, Chelsea don't buy her. Not be, if, not be fear that they fear them buy Fernando Torres. You be fool. How much be your own for inside? <laughs> we win on yesterday. Mario on a fool. Mario on a fool. You know, says Barcelona, the, come on, come on, Sevilla, defeat Mario. Mario said, be the special one. Special, special be. I said, that special one. You start to fight. Instead of knowledge. Go to school. Study to show yourself approved. A workman that need not be ashamed. Value exchange. Somebody say value exchange. Say it again. Bishop. Common air conditioner fluid, air conditioner gas. How many of you have bought that container of air conditioner here? How much is it here? 600? It is the one, it is 500 in worry. It is 300 for the small one in worry. But they are selling it 600, 1,000 here. A bag of granite in Uweru, if you bring it here. You want to fight with Hausa people? Who not go die for hunger? Tomatoes who not go chop? Pepper who not go get? Onions who not go get? Watermelon who not go get? Sugar cane who not go get? If you want to be rich, find where something is cheap, Bring it to where it is expensive, sell and carry it down, buy another thing and take there. I give you an example. My wife's elder sister makes close to 80,000 naira every week from Ugu, fruited pumpkin. Ugu. If you plant Ugu in this town, carry it to worry, they will be rushing you before you get there. 80,000 naira a week for a month is 320,000. She sunk a borehole in the farm in Okokoko. The person planting Ugu in our land in Okokoko has built a house. An oil company worker bought land from us to plant Ugu. Go to element, you will see, you will see worry women loading Ugu in Agafure Motors. You are here with time. Oforma is empty. Village pastor, your wife can plant Ugu. Value exchange. You know the good thing about this town? Bishop, nearly everything you are doing in this town, you are maybe the first person. Your school is one of the biggest in town. But in Lagos, there are schools that are 20 times bigger than this. Am I right? This church is one of the most beautiful in town. In Lagos, there are others that are more and more beautiful. And this town is growing so fast. If you are a wise man, look for something that is not here, bring it here. Sell. Let me tell you about Ugeli. Ugeli, whether capital comes or not, is going to join Ofoma. Eh? It's going to join Iede. Eh? It's going to join Evreni. It's going to join Ejekota. It's going to join uh, Ewu. It's going to join Opare. It's going to join Udu. It's going to join Wari. It's going to join Agbaro. It's going towards Sokoro. It's going to be, all these, all these villages are going to be like Ayobo of in those days. 